Sexes, which came out, I think, was it last week? This week? Yeah, last week. So, yeah, um, I watched this song, Elenia hasn't, so let's... So Switch it us. up a bit. Yeah, let's go ahead. So, so give me an overview of uh, overview. what happened. So, this is based on a real life story. So, this is, well, if you're a tennis fan, you probably know about this. For those who are not informed about the world of tennis, this is basically, um, this was like the turning point for women's tennis, basically. So, mm. this is set in the 1970s. So, back then, the women's tour was very small. It's very small, very unappreciated. It's full of, you know, prejudice. Chauvinistic behavior from all the men. Basically, like any female sport. <laughs> yeah, and like they were getting paid like an eighth of what the men were getting paid. And it just, they were women. Women's football. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so this film revolves around uh, Billie Jean King, who at the time was one of the top women's tennis players. And she basically sets the ball running for what is now the Women's Tennis Association, okay. the WTA. So right now you've got the ATP, which is the men's, the WTA, which is the women's. Mm -hmm. So um, the WTA is huge now, but this is where it started. So I wasn't really aware. This is where, she, you know, the whole movement started oh, wow. yeah so um what the whole basis of this film is that um you have what's his name bobby riggs <laughs> who is steve carroll's character and he is he's like a senior player right now in the men's store so he was great but now he's kind of in the retirement phase of his life but he challenges um any women tennis player to you know step up to the court and give him a challenge because one, he is suffering from problems with himself. He's got little kind of issues and stuff. Mm. So he thinks, you know what, if I, I can use this, you know, get my career moving again, get myself back in the line. Like, so he challenges all the women to say, if you think good enough, if you can set up the play, beat the men, come way up here. And Billy Jean King takes up the challenge and tries to put women's tennis at the same level. And that's what it's all about. Exactly. So yeah, so that's what happens. <laughs> so how is it? Emma Stone did well actually, so because I'm not really used to seeing her in these dramatic roles, to be honest. I oh, mean, have you not seen the hair? No, probably not. <laughs> so, but, Incredible. Yeah, but she does really well. I mean, she really captures everything amazingly, and I think her and Steve Carroll work great. So I think both of these two really did well as the leading pair. Because it looks into more of the inner struggles of both characters rather than the tennis. Yeah. So I thought the tennis might be a bit more at the forefront. So it's not really of more of a sporting drama, they're more of a look at their own mm. characters and autobiographical kind of sense. So Emma Emma Stone's in all the sense. No, 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 Emma no Stone. don't get the Emma's so mixed Jean up. King, I mean she's having her own um, inner conflicts regarding her orientation and who she's attracted to. I mean you know, the life of her, living on the poor for the entire year, yeah. having a husband, all that stuff, so the pressure she has. And Steve Carroll's character, he's also having his own personal conflicts, such as his marriage is on the rocks, mm. he's got gambling issues, and you know, this stuff does build up. So there's a lot more to the um, battle than it's at the surface. Because I thought, you know, originally looking upon it, it's just two people having a little fight on call. But yeah. there's actually a lot more inner turmoil and conflict <coughs> in this, which actually builds up and does well mm. to create this, you know, battle in the sense of building yeah. up towards it. Cause like Steve Carell's character is very easy. He loves, he's revving the tent. He goes, I'm a chauvinistic pig. Like he goes out, <laughs> he wears a shirt, he goes, Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm a guy. I have a superior a genetic. Yeah. And, uh, no, he's like really playing up to it because he loves this. He wants the attention to come back on him because, you know, he's in his 50s now. So mm. there's an age difference. She's like at the top of her game, but he's at his 50s. And, you know, he really wants to be in the limelight again and at least have some sort of meaning to his life again. Yeah. So he, he loves playing, he's playing the heel if it's a wrestling technology. And, yeah, so this is great. I mean, if you love tennis, you'll definitely love this movie because it gives a lot of history and stuff that mm. you weren't really aware of. Isn't this way beyond my time? Beyond most people's time. You're this. a bit of a feminist, maybe, as well? Yeah, especially because, it, I mean, sadly, some of this stuff still runs today. And yeah, I mean, of course. It's, it's kind of strange that, you know, the, you know, the things <laughs> in this film are still being reflected today. I mean, like I said, the women's football team, you know, they get paid peanuts compared to the men's. And well, yeah, exactly. Just recently, you know, women's tennis has got back up into level par. So, yeah. I mean, it opens up a lot of things. Yeah, I've, I've, you've noticed it a bit more yeah. this year that, like, women's tennis, football, yeah. and rugby, yeah. and cricket, even at the moment yeah. as well, is getting a lot more traction yeah, and I a lot more coverage. Exactly, because it's realised it's out there. Yeah. And with the tennis, I mean, there is an argument. Men play five sets, women play three sets, you know, whatever. Yeah, know. But with the football, there is no reason. Like, it's like, no, <laughs> no reason. Exactly. It's the exact same thing. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I could say anything that I didn't really 
enjoy. I mean, I watched it two days. It's pretty fresh. These are like raw comments yeah. coming. I haven't had a chance to sit down and like analyze it properly. But yeah. I do think it did go on a bit. Like the first hour was very, very slow boiling. I was actually doing the whole watch thinking, how long? Like, <laughs> how long have I got left? Where's the actual, you know, the drama? The drama gonna start yeah. here. Because they're building up, you know, the, I mean, Billie Jean King has an affair in it, so it goes into all that side of the things. Okay. And he sees um, Bobby Riggs having his <coughs> personal troubles, and it's slowly building up, building up. It's kind of like, let's get to the action, the drama. This is what I'm here for, to see the, you know, whole show. Yeah. So in that sense, and I think, yeah, I think just a bit more tennis would be a bit more exciting. Because I do love my sporting dramas. Like any you do love your tennis as well. Yeah, I love my tennis. I thought, let me see how all that works. But yeah. they did focus a lot more on the characters themselves mm. and the actual event because the event is kind of pretty rushed at the end it happened in like the last 40 minutes the whole thing kind of there. so i'm like yeah, you could put in a bit more of the tennis stuff but it's way more on the character side of things yeah that's, that's but i guess they, they did the same thing. did you ever see the wimbledon no film I heard that was absolutely garbage and as a tennis fan i'm not gonna watch it because it's, <laughs> it's a rom-com that's yeah. why and yeah i mm. sort of loved it but it was years ago um and that had was, like some tennis in it. Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst yeah. and, um, oh my God, I, can't, I always forget his name, but he's the guy who plays um, The Vision. The Vision. Something Brittany. Yeah, Paul. Paul, Paul Bittany. Bettany? Bettany. Brittany, I don't know, one of them. Paul B. <laughs> Something. Paul B. <laughs> but, um, no, and then is it... Well, the directors, yeah. what have they, have they ever done anything? In the I had looked for it, but there's nothing really that stands out. Like, yeah, that was, that was yeah. the same with mine, actually. The directors well. are Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Farris. I did a quick look from that. There's nothing really that stands out from yeah. the US sense. So I can't really give too much of a comment there. Yeah. But, I mean, probably one of the things, there are a few plot holes just do not really go anywhere. It's so, you've got Margaret Court, who happens to be uh, Billie Jean King's rival at the time. Mm. So what happens is she originally steps up to the challenge and she gets booked. Right, and she's the number one at the time, and like she just loses, right? But they don't really go into the reason why she loses because she's with the girls on tour as well. So mm. while they're going around the country doing events, she's with them. So when she loses, it should be like a big thing, but well, nothing ever happens. So they've never really explained like, why did she lose. Like, and then at the end, like she's watching Billie Jean King and Bobby have the epic duel. Yeah. She's watching, right? Okay, and we're wondering how will she react to this because we know Billie Jean King wins. No, it's, it's not a spoiler alert. It happens. It was, it's, it's, history. it's history. <laughs> so she's watching like the match. So you see they cut to her watching every now and again. So when the match ends, you think, I want to see how she reacts. Is she happy for the women or is she a bit annoyed because she lost? She won. But no, they don't go back to her. I'm like, no, what's the point of showing us her watching uh, yeah. when you don't give us her reaction? But... Okay, well, have you got a short review for this one? A short review, I'll probably say it's for the fans. Like, if you love tennis, I'll definitely suggest you check it out. It's got a lot of background, history, mm. great performances. If you don't really enjoy tennis or care, it'll be a bit of a struggle for you to get involved into it. Yeah. So, okay. it's one of those things. If you like the subject, go ahead. If not, I'll probably keep away. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah, so, it is what it is. So, two, two deeper movies this week.